Let us start by asking the most obvious question. What is improvisation? I'm sure that you already have an idea or notion of what improvisation is or what it might be. Perhaps along the lines of one of the following popular ideas. The first considers improvisation as one of the highest art forms and practices which is reserved only for the true masters of the art while another common perception is that improvisation is an obscure and inadequate ad hoc method to be used only when one can't perform the so-called proper way. From my perspective, I see that neither by exalting nor trivializing improvisation will help us to achieve a better understanding of what the essence of improvisation is really about. Instead, during this course, We will observe improvisational practices and discover discourses that have been revolving around this topic, and by doing so we will try to get an idea of the improvisational process itself. When looking at improvisation, we are indeed looking at a vast number and variety of traditions, practices, social and cultural contexts and related theoretical concepts and interpretations. In the past years, improvisation has been, and increasingly still is, the focus of a very lively and productive multidisciplinary discourse that sheds light from different disciplines and humanities on the subject of improvisation. A field that has been established in academia as critical improvisation studies. There is a growing number of texts and publications about improvisation and you are seeing just a small selection of these as I speak. Given the framework of this project, it is obvious that we will not be able to exhaustively explore all aspects of our topic. Instead, I'm inviting you to follow me on a wandering exploration of improvisation, my particular path of investigation and discussion, which in some ways itself will have the character of an improvisation. As the subject of improvisation is so heterogeneous, rich and complex, It cannot be thought or reduced to a simple hierarchical structure, like a tree, for example, where we would discuss the roots first and then branch out towards the top. Instead, I will use a different metaphor and organize our subject in a rhizomatic way. That is to say, a three-dimensional network of points or territories and connections, where all points are connected to each other. In a similar way, the parts and chapters of this course will represent patches of territories of improvisation practices in discourses whose obvious and potential connections will hopefully become plausible as we progress. The Oxford Dictionary gives us following definition. Improvisation is the act of inventing music the words in a play, a statement, etc., while you are playing or speaking, instead of planning it in advance. Something that is invented in this way. This definition seems at first to be quite satisfactory, as it looks both simple and clear. But upon closer consideration, it leaves us with many unanswered questions. We could start with the term itself. Does improvisation denote a universal human activity or does it instead carry a specific cultural implication, such as improvisation being the antithesis of composition and therefore a term related to a certain tradition of thinking? Or, if improvisation is creation without planning, how about preparation? And more so, 
Where does the improvised material, the sounds, words, etc. come from? How does it work? How does one improvise? How can we learn it? How do we listen to it? What is the goal of improvisation? What are the psychological, social or even political implications or consequences? Etc. Etc. And indeed, the many definitions of the term improvisation range from the notion that improvisation is an elementary skill shared by every human being to very complex transdisciplinary models and discourses. For the time being, let me give you a second complementary definition to the one from the Oxford Dictionary. Improvisation can be described as an elementary human creative practice that is both performed within and determined by a given historic, social and cultural situation, context or art form. In order to apply and verify this definition, we will have to consider the following topics in our discussion. Human creativity, psychology, embodiment, practice versus theory, performance, historicity, social and political interaction, cultural determination, definition of an art form or idiom, and many more. This may all sound complicated now, but I'm quite optimistic that all of this will become more comprehensible as we progress. Speaking of progress, let me also give you another way of approaching the term improvisation without being overwhelmed by its numerous connotations. Think of the term exploration instead. Exploration is an action. It includes curiosity, interest, motivation, courage, enjoyment, but also occasional frustration and a wandering rather than targeted movement. So let us explore. Here you see the layout and chapters of this first part of our course, in which we will try to get an overview over some of the most common fields of improvisation practices. And by doing so, we will follow our above definitions and questions that will help us move towards an understanding of what improvisation might be. So that was chapter one. Next up is chapter two, improvisation in non-European musics. Thank you and hope to see you there. Um.